going on? Welcome to 60 Second Guides, and uh, if I could do Jace, I could do anybody, right? So let's get going. Jace runs and builds a lot like Aurelia. As a top lane bruiser, you need to be able to dive onto their carries and effectively take them out. Trinity Force gives you damage and survivability, which is why I prioritize it. Everything else is situational and depends on the team comp. Jace's passive grants a bonus movement speed when he switches between stances. He starts out with his ultimate, which switches him between these two stances. One stance is melee, the other is ranged. While in range, his Q shoots out an AoE projectile. Shooting one through an acceleration gate increases the speed and how much damage it does. Your W increases your attack speed but lessens how much damage you do for three attacks. Your E places down a gate that gives movement speed to you and any ally that runs through it. While in melee stance, your Q will dive for the opponent, slowing them and doing damage. Your W passively gives you mana every time you melee attack. And when activated, surrounds you in a magical AoE damage. Your E is a knockback that does more damage depending on their maximum health. Use it to stop someone from channeling or get them out of position. Jace heavily relies on his burst, so make sure to combo efficiently. And keep in mind that you're tankier while in melee stance. So switching in teamfights can be dangerous. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed it, like, favorite, and subscribe, and I'll definitely make more. If you'd like me to do any champion in particular, leave a comment below.